Hoi zusammen! Welcome back to Philly Swiss. Today I will be sharing with you not just all the treats that Snickers gobbles up, but also the best treats from our selection that we found were best for puppy training him. If you're in the process of getting a dog or a puppy, I also posted a video called Getting a Dog Checklist, which I will link in the description box below. And I will also link our free downloadable dog care management planner to help you get started. The treats we get are usually from the pet store like QualiPet or from our monthly subscription box from the Wolf Club. And if you live in Switzerland, France, Germany, Austria, Denmark, Finland, or Sweden, you can use our code SNICKERS10 to get 10% off of your first box on your monthly subscription. And also when we went to the dog fair in February, we found some cool treats from brands while we were at the fair and we decided to make our purchase online thereafter. Our current find is the Bits Dog Snacks and we got these from Landi which is a retailer that sells products for the home, garden, food and drinks. What we got for dog snacks or treats are duck filet, chicken filet, meat sticks and pig ears. You may have noticed in my previous videos the Wolf Box from the Wolf Club. And just a quick intro, the Wolf Club is where we subscribe our monthly box of toys and treats. But they do sell both for dogs and cats, such as food and supplies, online, individually, or in monthly box subscriptions. Swiss Natural is one of the brands we found at the dog fair and they sell products for dogs and cats like food and treats made from high quality ingredients. I've mentioned Soul Plus before and Soul Plus is an online retailer that sells pet food and supplies. Another one that I've mentioned in a previous video is the Hunde Bekerei Hof Hof, which sells 100% natural food, treats, and biscuits made from high quality and locally grown meat and vegetables and have no artificial preservatives, dyes, flavor enhancers, sweeteners, or salts. Like I mentioned earlier, QualiPet is a retailer that sells pet food and supplies both in stores and online. The Harmony, Vitacraft, and Panson products that we buy from QualiPet are carried by the brand along with their own store brand products and they do have a variety of food and treat products as well such as the Harmony Dental Cleanies, the CBD Snack, the Natural Sausage or from Vitacraft the Beef Stick, Arthrofit, the Beef Stick Low Fat, the Beef Burger, the cow knochen or the bones and for the pansen especially at the beginning when snickers started to teeth we had to get uh, from pansen the bone guard zero to one the last one is from my body box and unfortunately i don't have pictures anymore but at least i have some clips that i posted on tiktok and they basically sell dog food and treats made from carefully selected and combined 100 percent food quality ingredients
Now, what are our favorite training treats? Well, actually, they're not our favorite training treats. They're Snickers' favorite training treats. Out of the trial and error, we found that he likes especially the Tsnuni Swiss Natural uh, dog treats, which we actually bought for $29.90 for a 3 kilogram bag. They're bone-shaped treats with ImmunoCell 3 Active, which supports the immune system. One of the first treats that we bought Snickers was from QualiPet, which is the Quali Dog Chicken Cubes, and we would get a bag of 600 grams for $27.90. And they're basically a soft snack that contains around 38% crude protein and 3% crude fat. Similar treats from Moments by Bocados are these little tasty bites for dogs and they're semi-moist miniature hearts that are made with turkey, potatoes, blueberries, raspberries, red beets, and salmon oil. Another one that he really likes is the Pooch and Mutt Peanut Butter Wheat-Free, Junk-Free Mini Bone Dog Treats. Both the Mini Hearts and the Mini Bone Dog Treats are included in our monthly box subscription from the Wolf Club. Three different types of training, which is one for tricks, a second one for manners, and a third for good habits. Now on the trick training, this would be more like wait and okay. Another trick is ping or the most common one, rollover. Another purpose of the treats is to use them together with his interactive toys. Now, it's very good for dogs to be able to work out how to get their treat from certain puzzles, especially when it's varying difficulty as well. In another video, I will be talking about the interactive toys that Snickers uses and what we like most about them and especially what treats are the best to use for them. Now, what is manners training? What I consider as part of this training are sit and wait, down, recall, look or look at me. Good habits are for behaviors according to the situation, such as shower and grooming, or if another dog is barking at him, he is quiet and calm. We like to mix it up a bit because Snickers already knows that he needs to at least sit down when we hold up a treat in front of him, but he doesn't know which command will come next. Other tricks that we've been training are high five, middle, and the leg weave. Depending on the training, the treat tends to be more, mm, how can you say it, aromatic or less. The pig ears, for example, are very aromatic and we give it to him after a grooming session because he doesn't find that the most pleasant, but at the same time, he knows that he would get a very nice reward after it. We can use less aromatic treats in manners training since he's already fully trained in them but that he doesn't forget it and we don't necessarily need to give him a treat at all but it's still nice to reward him whether or not he expected it potty training especially at the beginning meant giving him high currency treats or the very aromatic treats but after he was fully trained, then he didn't look back at us anymore for a treat. So we stopped giving him treats when we go out for his toilet break walks. And a lot of new tricks especially need the high currency treats at the beginning. 
so that he is more motivated to learn and to execute it correctly just so he can achieve that special treat. But after some time, the treat is adjusted until we only need to give him low currency treats or none at all. When we don't give him treats, we praise him for doing a good job. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Don't forget to click the like button if you did. Let me know in the comments down below what training treats you get for your dog and why. To see more of my content, hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified for future videos. I'll see you next time. Ade!